How's it going everyone? It's Sorcerer Miles back with an all new video and today I'm here with an awesome new video. I just found this out and if you have seen Kendrick Lamar new video, it's not new actually, the old song named Humble, then there was an effect called Tiny Planet. Well, I taught you an effect in Tiny Planet, how that could be created inside of Photoshop. Well, I'm talking about how you can create that similar effect but just in case of a video. So it's gonna be really really awesome but there are a few things that are gonna be required in it. So just before doing anything else make sure that you hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the like button we're gonna be doing a lot more stuff into this i hope you enjoyed this video so let's get started so first of all thing i'm having here is that i got this video from videoblocks.com i take no credit for this video and it's completely um, means stock video from videoblocks.com links given below in the description so i got these two videos and these videos are 360 videos so anything or any type of video you're using must be a 360 like you can play them in 360 view so this probably has been shot with a 360 camera i think that's been a bit of warping um so this is a video courtesy of video blocks so what you can do is that you want this video something like this and i have another one the same 3d video if watched in 360 view so it seems something like this yeah we're having a tripod here so we're going to be using this particular these two particular videos and what i did is that i'm going to be showing you guys i'm having another video of these Two videos compared but these these videos are flipped upside down so you can see that what part was above means below now it's above so I combined them both and turned them upside down so I'm gonna be telling you why I did that so first of all let us include those uh, import those trees inside of after effects I'm using after effects CC the tr uh, this particular template is given down below in the description if you want it so let's import these three videos okay now I'm gonna be dragging this untitled mp4 into this I have that flipped one so if you open this video one so what I did literally was to if I uh, take this video one down to this composition so I just hold it like that and flipped it upside down and rendered it now why I did that that's particularly to a reason now if I place video one here and I type in um, just like we're gonna using the polar coordinates for this just fill it up so type in polar coordinates and if I drag that polar coordinates into it if I set it to polar to rectangle maybe rectangle to polar and we have it like that so it literally moves the ground but you don't want the ground either so what I thought that something would work is that I flip it upside down and then apply polar coordinates to it and but it still didn't uh, means literally thought to work out it still was mean means going up from or flipping from that particular direction again means flipping it on the either side flipping it on the either side is not working so what I did is that I rendered the video upside down so that I would not have any further problems I'm going to be using that upside down video now drag down to add make sure that you have good turn your photo upside down now it's a really simple one just type in polar coordinates and set that right on here and make it rectangular to polar and let's increase the duration up to 100% now if you play this video it's gonna work just the same you can see it's working but we're having this black thing now what about these things what we can do it's very simple just create a new solid we got new solid type in BG that's gonna be black keep this down below click onto this layer and you need to focus right around here now if I place my mouse anywhere that shows the color so if I place right around here and I open up notepad notepad I can type in R equals to 213 and G equals to 224 and B equals to 237 the alpha doesn't matter it's always 255 so these are the color codes for these corners now what I can do is that I'm going to be typing in fill and I'm going to be taking this fill generate option and placing it over to the BG and similarly I'm going to place those three values right around here what we have is 213 so type in R 213 click on green and that's a green value that's 224 224 and let's check our blue value it is 237 so if I place in 2 3 and 7 and press OK we're gonna be getting it something like that so it is pretty much working now what I can do is to get or head over to that and now take it opacity down to 95 so that we can have that blending about there 
Now what I can do is to head over this BG layer and let's create curves adjustment and take it to untitled mp4 and now we can adjust it according to whatever seems to be pretty much perfect. I'm going to be increasing the contrast just by a bit and there we have it something something pretty much done like so. So now you can even even play this video you can even scale this for S on your keyboard for a scale make sure that is constant scaling and then you can scale it according to yourself whatever you like and something really fun about it is you can even rotate them if you head over to the very start press R hit all or you can even use expression by hitting alt and typing in time multiplied by 100 and just remove these keyframes so we're having it rotating <laughs> so what I can do is that I can remove this for now and create a keyframe right around here go to very last and I'm gonna be taking it like one turn now <laughs> that video is different one so I'm gonna be moving over to 30 seconds where that particular video ends and I'm gonna be taking it one turn in 30 seconds and let's F9 on our keyboard or go to keyframe assistant type in easy ease I hope that's recording yes it is and just simply press it so it's gonna be rotating. it's up to you what you want more I just uh, showed you guys what you can do more with this so it's really really awesome to create these effects type of effect you can even if you have a 360 camera you can hold it in your hand and then like I'm gonna be showing you an example like what it should be like so if I press in and I open up a sketchpad like a sketchpad so literally it is like if you're having a video like 360 video and you're having a camera holding in your hand and you're cycling right around what uh, in the Kendrick what Kendrick Lamar did uh, it should be a 3d video like all over the place you can watch anywhere anytime so you're right around here your camera is right in your hand and it should be a 360 so that you are getting that 360 view around you and then finally convert that particular picture into this so it's gonna be like your face pulling out and you're completely into it it looks really really awesome with that effect so i hope you enjoyed this video make sure that you share this video to almost every of your friends share it everywhere that you want your friends to learn this i hope you enjoyed this video it's really really awesome to create this effect this template also given down in the description i hope you enjoyed this so make sure to like and subscribe it's sourcing from Fuzzy Tech. signing out